Hi there, I'm Marie, and I work at Walden West Outdoor School. Now, not only am I an educator, but I'm also a scientist, a photographer, and an artist. And I'm here to tell you how I apply STEAM to my work. So let's start with the letter S. I'm a scientist and I have been one ever since I was a little girl. I loved going outside and observing the natural world. It brings me such joy to discover new things. And so I love to observe and I love to take data and notice new things. So let's move on to T, technology. The technology that I use is my digital camera. And you know, camera comes in all sorts of different sizes. So, and they've gotten really good because I also use my cell phone quite often. Along with the camera comes a lot of other tools that help me. So I have different lenses that I use as well. And I, when I need extra light, I even have a flash. Now the E, which is engineering, um, engineers solve problems. And one of the problems that I was having when I was out taking a picture in the sunlight, especially the bright sunlight, there were all these little white dots on my photos and I couldn't figure it out. Well, I talked to another photographer and he said, oh, go get one of those shields. And so here's a shield that an engineer created and it fits right here on the top of my lens. And then when I use it, when I take a photo, um, it shields the, the light and then that way I don't end up with little white dots. The other thing that engineers have created is this really cool tool. We love gadgets and so someone created one of these little lenses that actually fit onto my cell phone. And what I love about it is that it, it does two things for me. Um, there's a wide angle lens and then this removes and then it's a macro lens. So I can see things at a very wide angle and then I can also get really close to something. And so I'm really glad that an engineer created uh, this tool for us photographers. Now, the A is about art. And so two things that I do as an artist is of course my photography. So I take lots of pictures when I'm outside observing. And then the other thing I do is I, I take my nature journal here and I draw pictures and take data. So that's how I use A as an artist. And then M, which is math, um, with math, there's a couple things that I do. So the camera um, actually is all about capturing light and inside of it is a, a thing called an aperture. And so when you are out in the bright light, the aperture is very, very small. About F2 is what they call it. And then if you're in very low light, then the aperture is really big, and I think the biggest can be like 16 up to 22. And so that's how math is also used, but I as a scientist also use measurement because that's really important when you're out observing. And sometimes I have a little ruler, but a lot of times I just use my thumb because I know from the tip of my thumb to the first digit is an inch or 2.5 centimeters. And so I will use my thumb for scale. And I also, if I want to know distance um, from the tip of my longest finger all the way to the top of my shoulder is um, a meter. And so I use that to estimate how far things are away from me or distance away. So that's how I use steam in my work. Now we're gonna go for a hike so that you can see how I do my work. Come here, come look at this. Look what we found. It's not quite blooming yet. 
but it looks like it's a mountain iris. Oh, and there's some bugs on it too. I wonder what they're trying to do. It's always fun to go out and see something that you can come back to. Since we know that this isn't bloomed yet, we're gonna come back out in a couple of days and see if it blooms. And look, there's another one here that will be ready to bloom in a little while too. And then I like to get a side picture of it too. Oh, I like the curl on that leaf. That is so awesome. Wow. Wow, look at these. Now, I don't remember what these are called. We'll have to look them up. I do have one of my guides in my bag. Maybe we can figure out what it is. Hmm. Oh, those might look like those a little bit, right? I think they're really close. These are purple Chinese houses, I think. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a picture of it and then I'm gonna upload it to iNaturalist and then hopefully somebody will help me identify this. But I did identify it in my guide already by color. And so now I'm gonna see if I can find a really good sample to take a picture of it. So iNaturalist is a place where citizen scientists can upload uh, different animals and plants that they find when they're on the trail. Oh, look, there's more mountain irises. Hey there, welcome back. I'm here with my nature journal and I love my nature journal because it helps me be a better observer, a better scientist and a better artist, which is the A in STEAM. And so I'm gonna share a few pages with you just so you have an idea of uh, things that I take pictures, uh, draw pictures of. And so the first one is a place that I actually went to, which you could go to too, um, these nature journal adventures can be a destination. So this is a picture of the beach that I went to and the place was called Elephant Seal Vista at Ragged Point. And we saw elephant seals, which was so amazing. So I sat and I counted and drew pictures of them while I was there. Another place that I went to was Big Sur and there was amazing flowers there. So I sat and I drew these flowers and uh, just focused on shapes and colors. And maybe I might go back and identify them, but that's really what I wanted to do there. And the last one I wanna share with you was Comet Neowise. And so this was a great keepsake um, for me and my family because we got to experience this together. So when you take out your nature journal, it's an opportunity for you to continue to explore and go deeper into your um, observations. Remember those flowers? I took pictures of them and there are three of them that I picked that I wanna draw. They're the mountain iris. And the reason why I didn't draw them while we were outside was because there were way too many bugs everywhere. There's a lot of bugs here. It's really hard to draw when they're buzzing around you and biting you. These are mosquitoes. So we're gonna get some paper and I'm gonna use my notebook. And uh, you just get a piece of paper if you want. But uh, I'm gonna be drawing here um, and making observations of the mountain iris uh, that we observed. Let's get to drawing.
All right, we are all done. So here's the finished product and I'm pretty happy with it, but I'll probably go back and maybe make some other observations. Um, basically all I did was draw a little picture of the bud, the top view, and the side view. There you go. Hope you try it out too. I've had so much fun sharing how I apply steam to my work with you. I just hope that you get outside and discover your neighborhood. Explore, find something that you've never seen before, and learn more about it. And if you ever get up to Walden West, tell them that Pineapple sent you. <laughs>